everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video this afternoon i hope you have been enjoying your sunday and i hope that all the preps have been going great for this a brand new week so we're looking at the satellite imagery this is the infrared satellite showing what's happening and we can see that storm system which is making its way up along the u.s east coast it brought impacts to florida and even georgia as well still some heavy rainfall across some areas especially in eastern georgia but the carolinas virginia even heading further up to the north areas have been feeling impacts from the system it is producing tropical storm like conditions those winds have been well over around 50 miles per hour across some areas and even higher gusts than that there has been a lot of heavy rainfall there's been some flooding even that storm surge in the Dayton coastal area so it has been bringing its impacts to parts of the U.S. and other areas as well such as the Caribbean islands and even the Bahamas have been feeling impacts from it so we'll be talking about it of course there are other systems out there not a problem for anyone right now seen a lot of activity in and offshore of Africa associated with the intertropical convergence zone even across parts of southern venezuela and into colombia a lot of activity there but let's zoom in to the region here we can see that there is some activity moving across some islands of the caribbean cuba jamaica as well so for many eastern parishes it has been a very rainy day even some heavy downpours as well across some areas and we know that these periods of heavy rain they can trigger flooding at times so please stay safe guys and as we look toward the Bahamas, as I said, also some activity moving through there. And this isn't the only area experiencing rainfall across the Caribbean. Even as we look over into the eastern islands, there has been some showers moving through parts of Guadeloupe, Nevis, and even for the windward islands going toward Barbados, St. Lucia, parts of Martinique, St. Vincent, and even sections of the Grenadines. And also, even as we look into the vicinity of Puerto Rico and going toward Hispaniola, there's been some showers moving through through maybe not anything very significant but there has been some activity within the area so for some persons it's been rather active in terms of the inclement weather for others there hasn't been much happening for example i'm in northwestern jamaica it's been a sunny day for the most part with occasional wind gusts but nothing much is really going on so it's been a little bit active for some of us for others not so much and also quite windy especially across the north and eastern islands and even looking into parts of central america so with this storm system it has been resulting in this kind of weather across the region and more of it is on the way especially as we head more into winter going into january next month and even into february as well this is going to be the kind of pattern because why el nino el nino is allowing for that massive cool air to dip further to the south so these storm systems they develop further south in latitude across parts of the u.s and with that these front they help to influence the weather across the caribbean so that is what we're seeing happening right now and that's going to be the trend for a while but uh, going back to this storm system here this is a relative humidity map from the gfs model so in those areas of teals that is indicating all that moisture meanwhile those brown areas indicate drier conditions a lot of dry air take a look at the storm system we're seeing that is really on the north and eastern side there's a whole lot of moisture and then there's a lot of cool dry air feeding into it so that is really what has caused it to happen in the first place the interaction of that cool dry air mass and that warm moist air mass so that is typically how these storm systems form and even looking back to the satellite imagery, we can see it having that asymmetry. So it's not a symmetrical system. Again, there's a lot of cool, dry air on the western side of it. And cool air is unable to retain moisture. So that is why it is so dry. And that is what has set in now across Florida after that system made its way through but again it is impacting some areas and i'm here to keep you guys covered as per usual now how about the rainfall for the rest of today and into early tomorrow let's look at it here we can see it quite colorful in the vicinity of the bahamas and even for parts of cuba and jamaica as well some of those yellow shadings popping up so a lot of heavy rainfall in the bahamas potentially for parts of the turks and caicos islands as all that activity is making its way up to the north associated with that storm system that is affecting the u.s 
And of course, other areas may experience some pass and showers, especially to the Windward Islands. We're seeing some more colorful shadings within that spot, some of those yellows and those dark greens. But then elsewhere across the region, as we take a look at parts of Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, there may be a couple of showers moving through. ABC Islands, though, northern Venezuela will be on the drier side, but we're seeing that across much of Colombia, southern Venezuela, and some spots in the Guyanas. There may be some substantial downpours there, and with a lot of heavy rain, as I mentioned earlier, there could be flooding. And as we head into Central America now, for Costa Rica, Panama is usually quite active there, and especially with that front moving through the Caribbean, we're seeing that there is going to be the possibility of some decent rainfall activity. Things got a bit drier for parts of Nicaragua and parts of Honduras, El Salvador, and southern Guatemala as well, and even looking over into sections of Mexico and Belize. But again, there's going to be that chance of some showers moving by Cayman Islands. There could be some showers, but most of the activity will be to the east of the islands. But that isn't all. A cool down is coming. I've been talking about it for some time now, and it is on the horizon for this week. Let's look at what the GFS has to show, after which we'll be moving on to Euro. So here we go with it, and this is a temperature anomaly map here and this is as we head out into tuesday the 19th of december there we can see the forecast time and we're seeing all these colors what does that mean well the blue shadings indicate those areas of below normal temperatures not only the blues but also those purple shadings popping up as well and it is the opposite with those yellow orange and red shadings so that indicates above average temperatures but this is as we head out into tuesday as i said and we can see that all this cool air is going to be affecting parts of the southeastern U.S., the Bahamas, parts of the Caribbean islands, and over in Central America. We're seeing all of this blue shade in here. So temperatures may drop a couple degrees Celsius, that is, below what is typical. And that is some good news for many of us who are lovers of the cooler weather. And then as we head into late Wednesday, we can see that it still persists. Still seeing some of those blue shadings there. And also, the Euro model is in agreement with this. As we head into Wednesday, also seeing that massive cool air, but take a look at it. Some of those purple shadings popping up for sections of Georgia and even for Florida. So temperatures may be as low as up to 10 degrees Celsius or even 12 degrees below what is typical. Pretty chilly there. Uh, but of course, we're heading into the season of winter. So as I said earlier, a lot more of this is going to be happening. And speaking of, GFS is forecasting another cool down as the new year commences. So this is as we head into Monday, the 1st of January, 2024. And look at this. It's bound to change. There could be some adjustments, and that's pretty likely because we're talking about the weather here. The weather is always changing, but keeping with the pattern and what is typical, I definitely see that this is a possibility. We could even see some stronger fronts especially deeper into winter when there is the greatest contrast in temperatures which results in those storm systems developing so that is what is expected guys of course i'm here to keep you posted on all that is happening as i said and again if you're being impacted by what is happening in the u.s please stay safe continue to stay safe as best as you can and do not take any unnecessary risks but that is what i wanted to share with you guys in this updated video this afternoon i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise.